after heart disease and cancer. COVID-19 is now the third most leading cause of death in the US. The situation is worse if we look at the communities segregated by race and ethnicity and living below poverty. Systematic, social, health and economic disparities have put these communities at a high risk in comparison to others. So every mitigation effort to contain the COVID-19 pandemic and to manage its far-reaching devastating impacts required proper planning with the right kind of data. Hi there, this is Anush Tiwari and I am here to discuss one of my most recent research on COVID-19 vulnerability modeling. I too have with me my co-researcher Vijay Avin and a student from UIC College of Medicine, Arya Dadania. COVID-19 vulnerability of a region refers to the relationship between resilience of communities in fighting the infection and susceptibility of communities that result in unfortunate human loss or result in massive spread. We have developed C19VI to help us identify relative vulnerability of each U.S. county. We have computed this algorithm using CDC's six themes, socioeconomic status, household composition and disability, minority status and language, housing type and transportation, epidemiological factors, and healthcare system factors. The most common problem with the existing vulnerability model approaches are either they use equal weights to combine individual input indicators or they use some machine learning model techniques trained over total confirmed cases and deaths data sets for a certain period of time. Neither all of the domain are equally important nor the cases and death are biological constant. So we must incorporate new measures like infection fatality rate with computationally advanced techniques that can describe temporal behavior of cases, deaths, and infection fatality rates. We proposed a COVID-19 impact assessment algorithm that uses homogeneity modeling and non-parametric trend assessment technique to compute the impact of COVID-19 pandemic on each of the U.S. county. Top 200 most and least affected counties are used to train the random forest vulnerability modeling algorithm and predict the COVID-19 vulnerability index means C19VI. Our C19VI index describes that 575 counties have very high and 765 counties have high COVID-19 vulnerability. Receiver operating characteristics area under the curve is used for the model validation. Crone branch alpha is used to describe the model reliability. C19VI is also compared with the CDC analog CCVI that is COVID-19 Community Vulnerability Index using Friedman and Wilcox Insign Rank test. State of the art Baruto technique was used to assess the importance of the parameter in both CCVI and C19VI. In the case of CDC CCVI, healthcare system factors and ophthalmological factors was found as the most important parameters while interestingly in C19VI, minority status and language is found to be the second most important parameter after ophthalmological factors. The coronavirus has now infected more than 5.7 million people across the country, of which minority populations and people with low socioeconomic status are being disproportionately affected. Our C19VI reveals that more than 75% of black American communities are in highly COVID-19 vulnerable regions. Our index also describes that more than 82% of economically poor Americans live in highly COVID-19 vulnerable communities. Developed the COVID-19 Vulnerability Index is publicly available at Urban Data Visualization Lab, UIC, WebMap Portal. I believe that this index is going to help emergency planners and public officials to identify and map communities that need support during and after COVID-19 pandemic. Thank you.